Okay, here's another question. Is your name really Ten? Um, hi, it's me, Ten. And I'm back. So today we will be doing a q and A. I I posted a q and A in my IG story. So here's the story that I posted and I'm gonna go ahead and answer the questions. I'm actually surprised that I got quite a lot of questions. But yeah. <laughs> I also haven't been posting a lot on TikTok if you guys noticed because um, I've been focusing on the content I'll be posting here on YouTube. I'm trying to be more active on posting on YouTube because I think TikTok just show very snippets of my life and you guys don't really know me that much yet and I want to talk about a lot of stuff. I also want to show my authentic side. Let's just get on to it. So let's start with a first question. Since when did you start reading success books, medi meditation, etc? Have you seen already any results? So here's another similar question. Hey girl, when and why did you start the self-care journey? So actually, I started my self-improvement journey this 2021. To be honest, year 2020 was kind of a rough year for me. I was building these unhealthy habits unhealthy eating and sleeping habits so i thought that why not make this year 2021 different i think when it comes to reading and meditation and journaling yes i've seen a lot of great results especially with my well-being i was able to reflect more on myself instead of just going to the unhealthy habit route that i've always been to um, reading those books and meditating and reflecting on myself through journaling really helped me control myself more. I haven't really achieved anything tangible but I'm grateful that I'm more healthy, I'm more happy now. I think I've come a long way. It's been so much more better than who I was years ago. So um, tips on manifesting. You can mention me if you want. Okay so this is a question from Kazhas. I don't know how to pronounce it. When it comes to manifesting there are a lot of ways for you to manifest whatever you want to do in life. The way I manifest is I just write down all my goals as if I've already done it. So for example, I am successful. You basically make a list of that or you make one whole page devoted to one goal that you have. If I want to go deeper, I'm going to go and make like a story tell like as if it's already happening. I'm journaling that it's happening and I'm being more detailed about it. If you're manifesting, you have to be specific. You can't just give a broad manifestation. You're not sure where it's gonna go. So, next. Hi, I am Fadwa. Who is your favorite singer? I love you from Morocco. I can't say just one, I can't. Um, my favorite ones are Rex Orange County, Joji, and Nikki. Yeah, those are one of my favorite artists. Okay, so what's your favorite song? I love you. Love you too. Shout out to ZGA underscore life. So currently, I am into Bookstar Girl by Charlie Berg. Like or like like Bimin the Trit Tigers. Jane by Laundry Day. I don't really know if these are overrated or if these are recent, so please don't judge me. They're just in my current September playlist. Do you have any book recommendations? This is one of the questions that I got a lot on my TikTok. So here they are. So I'm just gonna give a quick run through of the description of each book and why you guys should read it. First we have here How to Win and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Basically the title itself explains everything you need to know. It just tackles um, empathy, self-control, and how to build great relationships with people and use that to your own benefit in the future. And then we have here The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F by Mark Manson. Again, the title explains itself. The book gives you a counterintuitive approach to living a good life and just how to be happier by not caring too much about the unnecessary stuff 
that life gives. Next, we have Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon, and this is 10 Things Nobody Told You About Being Creative. The book basically explains how to be creative in a very playful way, how to recycle previous ideas from your favorite artists, and making it unique to your own, and also having fun with it. If you're a beginner book reader, this is a great book to start with. Next, we have another book by Austin Kleon, which is Show Your Work. And this is like a part two of the book, Steal Like an Artist, but this time it's more about sharing your work to the world. This book explains to you that you don't have to be a professional in order to share your work. It's all about getting known, getting yourself out there. You are more likely to improve at a faster rate because you have built this network of people who are willing to support you and some who would like to educate you along the way. And yeah, that's basically it. Next. So, another question. Hi, Ate Den. What's your tip or suggestion for every student who is losing their appetite in studying? When it comes to studying, I like to make stuff more fun for me. I try to gamify the experience and put less pressure on myself because we know that studying is kind of boring sometimes and you just have to put some color into it. Um, what I do is I try to put on some music, some music that will make me feel energized and motivated. I also try to give myself rewards. For example, I tell myself if I finish my chemistry homework, I'll be able to watch like an episode of anime. Yeah, just give yourself um, a pat on the back with every achievement you make. Okay, next question. Not a question, but can you shout out me on your vlog, please? Thank you so much. Okay, shout out to Clement Watan. I don't know if I said that right. I hope I did. Next. What country do you live in? I am living in Saudi Arabia. I'm from the Philippines, but I'm staying here because my parents are working here. Uh, my whole family is here, so it's great. Okay, so we have another question from Sienna. Um, what inspired you to start creating content? Um, what inspired me is seeing other motivational TikTok accounts. I realized that whenever I see them on my feed, I get this great boost of motivation. I thought that why not spread that positivity to other people? If there's a person who helps you, be that person as well for other people. I'm just here to share my journey and motivate others along the way. So next. It's okay if you mention. Okay, hi, love loves. Wait, she didn't ask me any question. Um, so you're so pretty. Okay, thank you. So next is from Zan Marais. What keeps you motivated to start doing your schoolwork? I'm struggling to even start. My answer will be kind of counterintuitive, but just focus on the first step. Just start it. Don't focus on all the other 10 steps after it because you feel intimidated. You feel like this is like a big project that you're going to be bored out of. Motivation comes after action. So if you start just one step, you will be motivated to do the next one. Next, what are some editing apps and cams you use? My editing app, I actually use iMovie, the free version, and CapeCut. And my camera is EOS Canon M50. That's what I'm using right now. Okay. Um, career or love life? It's career. Um, I just think that um, because I'm too scared to commit to a relationship. Also because it's not really my priority at the moment, I think I still have a lot to figure out in myself that I'm not yet ready to meet another person. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next. Books and podcast recommendations. Podcast recommendations. I listen to Daily Boost by Scott Smith. This is one of the top motivational podcasts out there. It's just very chill. It gives me this good vibe. Another one is Not Overthinking by Ali and Taimur Abdal. Yeah, and there's also this The Toxic People Detox by Dr. Shayla D. Williams. If you guys are having some toxic people around you, this really helped me to get over that i'm gonna try to listen to more podcasts hopefully so that i can recommend you guys some more but currently these are only the podcasts that i listen to what languages do you speak um i speak filipino tagalog a little bit of arabic and english that's it how do you time manage i'm struggling right now because college work and social life 
Uh, so it's me, Tan, and I just realized that my answer to this question wasn't as fit as I thought. When it comes to social life, work life, and school life, I can say that social life is one of the things that I kind of sacrificed. I realized that investing your time on social life is not as valuable as if you were to invest it in yourself. So I'd say instead of social life, I'd say it's more of a balance between my self time and school life because I still don't have a proper job. I think my work and school life is not that separated to each other. I try to use the Pomodoro technique and the Pareto principle. I will make another video about this, but yeah, I'm just gonna leave it to that. You guys can search it up. I think everyone already knows what Pomodoro technique is. I try to devote 20 minutes, 25 minutes of my time to work and 5 minutes into breaks. And this can vary depending on my energy. I also take note of this. So if I know that I'm in my high energy and I'm willing to focus more, I'll maximize the time into one hour of work and 15 minutes of break. And most of the time, those breaks are what makes this productive journey much more efficient and happy. Because you have, you have that balance of play work and rest. I'm able to rest but also I can use that time to entertain myself and it really gives me that energy to go back to my work, to go back into my flow state. This is how I manage my time. And I also want to give a quick disclaimer that these are not definite, these routines that I'm doing for myself. These are constantly changing because I'm still learning what works best for me but at the moment this is what is working for me and I hope, hope that was helpful. Next question. I'm trying to start a self-love mental health journey. What would you recommend to help? I recommend you start doing some routines that is healthy for you. For my mental health, what really helped me is journaling and meditation. It made me reflect more on my feelings and emotions. Um, what really helps is for me to write down what I'm feeling, as if you're talking to yourself, as if you're conversing with a friend and trying to dig deep or tackle why are you feeling this way? Why are you continuously in a slump? You know, um, that really helped me. And meditating as well, meditating helped me reset my mind for each day. And another thing that can help is exercising because exercising helps create a better mood for the day. Even if it's just a five minute workout it helps a lot and try to stay away from stuff that you're binging unhealthy binging give yourself a break from that unhealthy phase next is are you in high school or college if high school what grade and if college what's your major by the way shout out to love jana for this question i am currently a nun um i just finished my senior high school this year yeah i i haven't told this to anyone yet but i'm gonna get a gap year just for some personal reasons but i'm still going to college and i'm planning to take a business related course so yeah okay here's another question is your name really 10 um it's my nickname i have a real name but i just don't want to say my real name yet to the world you know let me answer this last question Hi, um, so basic this is kind of a long one, okay? Um, so basically, I've been going through a lot now. Depression, anxiety, schoolwork, and not learning to be happy on my own, and just like, and just a lot of things. I need a new self. Like, how do I focus more on myself and studies and stop overthinking? Okay, so I'm back with, with the FaceTime cam. I realized that she had a lot to say. I got a long private message from them specifically to give you guys more context they basically shared their struggles with mental health also some struggles with trying to love themselves trying to be a happy person in general so before i try to advise you i first want to say that if you're going through depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. My first advice is to seek for professional medical assistance because 
it is not a joke it is something serious and it is beyond my capacity to help you in that area it is so much more bigger than surface level emotions it is something that has to be treated medically and i am only saying this out of concern i just hope that if you guys have access or are able to do that please seek help even for those who are currently watching i hope all of you guys who are going through some struggles with your mental health i hope that you guys finally find your happiness i wish you all the love that you deserve and i'm so sorry that you guys are going through these since i am still here and i need to advise you guys my main advice is you have to take it easy on yourself because self-improvement is not just improving it is a whole process of unlearning if you have been in the unhealthy phase for almost your whole life it is a process it is a big process of unlearning you're basically trying to change a whole version of yourself that you have been for your whole life your identity for the past decade and that is not easy it will be tough um, be patient in yourself and focus on one step at a time if you're going through a rough time just focus on the little steps that you can take at the moment achieve that one by one if you're trying to build new habits like reading eating healthy these habits can't be achieved overnight don't overwhelm yourself and do them all at once i myself am still working on it i am still having bad days i am still having slumps a quote that i always say fall in love in the process not on the outcome it's already dark that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a lot from whatever i said if you guys like this video don't forget to smash the thumbs up button subscribe click notification bell follow me on tiktok and instagram have a great day